Here's the thing with Michael Thor Bjornsson. He's tall, handsome, ripped, hits it a mile. He's not even doing anything, but he's literally in my head. Garrett, do you want any strokes? Oh, oh man. <laughs> Let's throw a dart at him. Just really just rattle his cage. He Fire me up, man. Fire me up. Come on. Go in the hole. It's kind of a match now. <laughs> uh, focus up. Hey, that's, that's, good. Good. that's good. the downfall. Yeah. That's the downfall right here. Trust me. Back with episode four of the D1 series, back with another GM Golf video. Today, a very special episode coming your guys' way. I am challenging the number one in PGA Tour U, a Stanford University senior, Michael Thor Bjornsson. Thanks for coming on the channel, brother. Thanks for having me. He also competed in the DP World Tour event in Dubai, which we were at last year. If you guys are watching this right now, he's probably also competing in that same event right now, somewhere on TV, uh, if you guys wanna watch that. But how are we feeling? Everything good? Yeah, feeling great. First couple days back from injury, I mean, a nice beautiful day we haven't played golf in a few years so <laughs> want to see where your game's at <laughs> well we'll see we'll see as you guys know i'm currently one and two in the d1 series we'll flip a t to see who goes first uh like he said straight from injury we'll talk about that a little bit throughout this video and a lot of other fun stuff that you guys will learn about michael let's get into this match today we're out at the oaks at valencia again front nine nine hole match play straight up and that's me first. All right. Last video we filmed out here was the UCLA video. Uh, so you guys have seen this course before. Par four, straight away. I got driver in hand. Oh, <laughs> haven't seen that in a while, have we? I think that might actually be in play. It might be okay, which if it is, we're okay. Yeah, good ball. Thank you. I mean, that is launched right there. Um, that hot chocolate tonight, though. It is. It's, <laughs> it's hitting the spot. I'll be warm for sure. Right. Straight off the uh, injury, talk to the people a little bit about that because you've obviously gone through a lot the last, what has it been? Four months now? Yeah. Three it's months? Been, yeah. So this is my fourth round since August 8th. That's kind of when we called it quits. That first two weeks was tough after getting surgery on my ankle, too. How did you injury? It was just a lot of reps. Gotcha. Yeah, we were playing a lot last year. I don't know if I can move this rock. All right, well, this is gonna be a layup and most likely a loss of the first hole, but it is what it is, right? Unfortunate start. Wide open tee shot, and we hit a little duck hook. I don't really have much of a swing here, if I'm being honest. I might just have to take a little unplayable. Unplayable lie, not to start what you want. We have like two, 230 from here, 215. I mean, it's almost safe to say I could concede this hole, but we're gonna try and make par, you never know. Here we go, left rough. Could almost concede this first hole, but we're gonna try, probably just aim a little right of that, that green side bunker. Kind of a flyer lie here, sitting down. I got a six iron, just gonna try and kill it. Unfortunate, it's all right though. We got 106. I mean, Garrett, I think, is in the bunker, sitting four, so we're just gonna have to knock it on the green, get two putt, move on to the next. Yeah. Might go in. Might go in. Oh my god. All right. All right. Better to lose on a birdie than anything. You can just tell his swing is like... It's just perfect. It's like not going to go anywhere else besides no, just he's, straight. He doesn't, he doesn't really make many errors. Michael is one of the most sound golfers tee to green that I've ever played with. I mean, he's number one in PGA Tour U. We're going to talk a little bit about that in the card cams, but the guy's a stick. He played in the US Open last year, too. I promise you guys, as of now, this is by far the hardest of the series. Michael is... He's just that good. Michael's in there about three and a half feet. I missed this bunker shot. He is all good for birdie. He's pretty much already in for birdie. Oh. <laughs> well, we tried. That'd have been kind of sick. My honor now, yeah? <laughs> Obviously fresh off the injury. Goal after college PG Tour. Right. I want to know a little bit more about the PG Tour you, because you, I've heard about it. And you're number one right now. Right now, yeah. Um, what does that look like for you? And you said you're battling for that one spot with one other guy right now? Yeah. You guys are gonna, like going back and forth or what? Yeah, so basically PG Tour U 
is like a, a ranking system from your junior year to your senior year. So it's like the events you played your junior year and then your senior year. Whoever is number one by NCAAs or after NCAAs gets pitching to our guard. So right now, I am a sliver ahead of Krista Lamprecht, who's also a senior at Georgia Tech. For PGA Tour U, it's all seniors. Gotcha. And I think like two through five gets the Corn Ferry Tour card, um, and then like America's PGA Tour of America is up until 25 or something like that. Gotcha. Uh, rough start, 392, par four, kind of a straightaway slight dog leg right. Driver like Michael, you could probably get into trouble on the left side up there. Just saying that left side just <laughs> kind of creeps in a little bit. <laughs> it's an aggressive play, but I like it. I like it. So good. What's the best part of your game? Would you say driving? Yeah, driving and irons. It's like basically your whole game. <laughs> <laughs> get to the green and then struggle a little bit, but for the most part, getting there is that's a little bit, yeah, a little easy. There you go. Easy <laughs> I like that. Easier. Easier. Easy, easy game when you hit it 3.30 in the middle of the fairway every time. Yeah. Not good, but it'll play. Fairway. 150 from there. See you, Michael! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could, uh, you could build a Walmart between our balls. That's actually almost missed that tee shot. <laughs> like, actually, this time, you probably could. No, th this time, legit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all right. It is what it is. Rough start, and honestly, swing feels. Hey, Michael, you can you can lift clean in place in the fairway. Can't hear you. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. Yeah, okay, he's a funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. I think I got the wrong club. Brought my whole bag. 170. Okay, let's just let's throw a dart on him. Just really yeah. just rattle his cage. <laughs> he thinks he's got something right now. Look at him. He looks all like he's got the hand on the hip too. That's crazy. Here we go. Seven iron in hand. Ooh. Tough start to match number four. Really tough start. <laughs> I mean, bogey on the first. We're staring some bogey on hole number two as well. I'm all good, thank you. Good. I hate the way my swing feels. What am I doing? Getting steep. Getting steep. What am I doing with my swing? My swing feels like shit. Golf is so easy when you hit the fairway 330 yards every time. Why can't I do that? All right, we got 83 yards. Garrett's a little left of the green, so. Open green once again. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm in my head. I'm in my head about my opponent today. That's my problem. He's not even trying, but he's in my head. He's not even doing anything, but he's literally in my head. Yep. <laughs> Six feet. You gotta make him at least earn it this time. I know. That's make him make a putt. That's what I want to do. I want to get this up and down for par. My goal is to make things interesting. I want to last as long as I can with Michael today. Hey, at least um, he's at least he's putting, right? Yeah, yep. <laughs> he's gonna putt. Are there many college tournaments for you guys match play, or is it mostly stroke? Just NCAA finals. How have you guys done in that? Uh, we lost in a playoff to be that eighth seed Okay. Uh, last year. It was a tough loss to ASU, but we, we played good. Yep. All right. Made him work for it, at least. <laughs> Birdie on hold two. We're two down through two. That's all right. That's all right. On the next, par five. Not going to get ahead of myself, though. Yeah, Garrett, do you want any strokes? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ryder, you suck. I fed him that line, guys. <laughs> I heard you feed it to him as well. Um, yeah, no, I probably need some strokes if I'm being completely real with myself in all these matches, but see, this, that, I like that. Hey, that's what got. That's the downfall. Yeah. That's the downfall right here. Trust me. Dude, you're so hard to play in match play. That's the problem. The guy is just intimidating. It actually kind of scares me. He's he, pretty calm. It's like he... He doesn't, you just... <laughs> he sits at like 3.30 and just gets his tee like it's no big deal. And I'm like scared to hit my drive now. I haven't experienced this in a match play match so far. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
This is what we tell him too about the tracers, so he'll be even like more in his head about like where to go after. Oh yeah, also um <laughs> whenever you hit, instead of walking forward, yeah. walk backwards because back. of the tracers. Yeah. Gotcha. Just keep that in mind. First off, I just want to like get the story of Michael Thorby on it a little yeah. bit for yeah. the people at home. When did you start playing golf? When did you pick up a club for the first time? Alright, my parents say seven months. I don't really believe them, but whatever. Seven months is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh first round. Uh, on the course, two years old, and then first tournament when I was five. Gotcha. So I've kind of been bred from the start to play golf. Been around here a whole lot. Yeah. Hey, can you shoot like that back lip of the bunker for me? 230. What about that tree over the, the right hill? I realistically should just lay up. Okay, I think he didn't hear me. You, ever heard you have a rangefinder, by the way. Huh? You have a rangefinder. In too. my back pocket. Yeah. It's a good point. You can use it if you want. It's a really good point. <laughs> Alright, here's the deal. Here's my guess. He's gonna lay up and then he's gonna hit his approach shot to 15 feet. He's gonna two putt par. I'm gonna make birdie. One down, two, three. Got a four iron. Might get a little fancy with it. Just hit it like a nice little Garrett Stinger. Ooh. All right. I wanna see that. Yeah. Great at one out of ten, we'll see. <laughs> You, so you hit a four iron from back there? Is that me? No, that's me. I had a three iron. You were in the rough. It was yeah, sure. Super rough. Right, sure. <laughs> I gotta get another club. If you think he's putting it any further away than 15 feet, you're kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely not. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be back here. Watch this. We're gonna spin this one into the hole. It's gonna be sick. Ryder. Anyway. We might have called the exact opposite. <laughs> He's probably going to hit it to three feet, make birdie. I'll two putt from 25 feet. Well, green's wide open again. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, another wedge. 70 yards. I've been working on my wedges. That's all I could do for, for a month there. See if we can knock it tight again. Force scared to chip his in. He's like 20 feet. No, he's not. Swear. No, <laughs> I'm not he's, believing you. I swear he is. He's probably still gonna make it though. Yeah. What do you think you'll miss most about college golf and everything once you're on the tour? About my teammates for sure. Yeah. Just like traveling with them. I live with Carl, Barclay, two, two of the guys on the team as well. Yeah. Coach is everything. Like going out to dinner at tournaments, right? It's a lot of fun. I'm up. I need a caddy. Sure. Garrett's getting a caddy. You're my caddy. Yeah. yeah. All right, bringing out all the help I can get, Michael. Oh. Oh. Good bar. I thought you did it. Thank you. All the help we can get today, baby. Come on. Dead straight, huh? I, yeah, if anything, moving a little bit left. Yeah. Barely. Come on, we need this. Come on, brother. Come on. That feels like a win for me. First tie hole, two down through three. How many this is? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're Appreciate welcome. it. And we got a new teammate, Brad on the bag. Hey, ties are about to turn. Ties are about to turn. Come on, baby, come on. Would you say you have like favorite moments or maybe a favorite tournament or a favorite moment in general throughout college golf? Probably traveling to Hawaii or Cabo. Mm -hmm. Those tournaments are always a lot of fun. Come on. How far we got? Or do you want me to shoot that? Oh, 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 oh. Hit it with it. Want me, do you want me to do it? Yeah, hit it. Dude, he's getting good at it. Isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. What about party trick tonight? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Whip it out at the party. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you get it. That's, That's how you get it. They'll be like, you're not approved. <laughs> and then Brad will hit the slick back. Damn, I didn't know you were chill like that. <laughs> what do we got here, Michael? We're going to need all of it here. It's always at the pit. <laughs> I better start caddying hard out here. <laughs> you gonna play for me? I mean, I don't know if I'm be I'm not beating that. Is golf boring for you sometimes? No. No? Not at all. No. I mean, this is fun. <laughs> this doesn't happen all the time. Wait, yeah, I was gonna say, is this like usual? You got it, Garrett. Thanks, thanks, Ryder. <laughs> but it's just sad because, like, no matter what. That feels kind of like a bad shot after seeing Michael's. Great shot. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying, 
Okay, hey, hey thank you. Great That's shot. what I need. I need that What was it, 190 yards? You said the 15 feet? 180, yeah, we'll take that. It felt good. Did you ever play any other sports other than golf, or was it just golf? I mean, I played like a lot of football and other sports like basketball for fun, but golf was always the one, huh? Yeah, parents didn't really let me play. They're like, why are you going to spend time doing something else when you're actually good at golf and you can get hurt? That's fair. I need Brad locked in today. You're just gonna need to take the wheel today, all right? Like a Tesla, you're just sitting there, I'm driving it. I can ride with no hands. Okay. Go ahead. All right. We put some pressure on him. I could see a world where Michael misses that putt. Oh. Woo, good read. Good read. That's good. That sting is a little more now, Ryder. Knowing that I could have been one down, yeah. stings even more. Two down through four, lots of golf to be played. Not counting myself out of this one yet. Dog leg right, par four, both have drivers in hand. Super good. You couldn't have probably drawn it up any better. All right, here we go. Driver in hand, trying to do the same thing. You said you played in five PG Tour events? Four? This summer I played in four. Yeah, as well as the US Open, right? Yeah, including the US Open. What was that like, and do you feel like that's kind of like preparing you for what's to come now? I played in a couple years prior, and this was kind of my first taste of like traveling on tour, like week in and week out. Definitely a little tough on the body, especially when the back was in pain, but yeah, it's a really good learning experience. What were your best finishes in your pro events? Because you also played in the DP World Tour event that right. I was out at. And you played really well that week, yeah? Yeah, I was leading going into the weekend That's and right. then kind of fell off a little bit. Finished 20th there, came 17th at the John Deere. A couple missed cuts there as well. Years prior, came fourth at the Travelers. Um, I remember that one. It's just good solid golf for four days in a row. Right. And then I kind of caught in a heater. I was one back of Xander with like six to play. I think I was six under my last six going Holy. into hole 12 and then two bogeys follow and fourth. But wow. Again, it's good you were right experience. there at the top of the league. Yeah. What well, were those nerves like? Was that, well, were, was you, were you kind of scared? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, the, the putts were, I was rolling it so well. I was, I think, leading strokes game putting that whole week. Right. And then I was like fifth in strokes gain driving. You could tell that you're in a really good position because just more and more people were starting to feed in. Yeah. The, the roars were getting louder and louder. That's going to be crazy. Like, Whoa. Well, when you're making a putt, everyone's screaming yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I knew it. As soon as I hit that drive, I, I caught it a little bit on the top of the face, and after that. You know what? I don't mind this for it. Yeah, we just have it. You just gotta play with the slope. What do exactly. we got? He's playing a different game. He is. I mean, he's it's... he should be three under through four at least. Yes. Show me that line, Brad. I kind of like a little chippy four. Open the face up, kind of a little slicer. Wow. Wow. Where wow. is it? Where hmm. is it? I'm right at it. Show me something. Come on. Front edge. Front edge. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was one of those. That was pretty special. <laughs> I mean, we're sitting 109, middle of the fairway. I think the pin's back left. Garrett's got a pretty long putt, so if we stick it pretty close, I think we can put some pressure on him. Oh, it's a little left. A little long, too. He's so impossible to beat. The thing is, Michael has not given me a sliver of anything. The last hole was my first opportunity to really win a hole, I guess. Which probably should have tied the hole, even if I made that putt. Where'd you go? You good? I think back left. I okay. Couldn't tell. What's your uh, best score you've ever shot, 18? Uh, in a tournament or just unofficially? Doesn't matter. 61 at Seminole. Yeah, with the bogey. A couple 62s a couple summers ago during tournaments. Gotcha. Dude, part of me almost wants to chip this, you know? Go over that slope. I know you would chip it probably. I, I like the putting. I like putting. I like that, Brad. If anything, we just kind of miss on the right side. 
I mean, get halfway there, Garrett. Did I need to tell you it was going to be slow? Um, yeah, you probably should have held my hand while you're at it. I need all the help I can get. Did that need still? I think so, just by a little bit. That's a tough thing. When you've hit well more shots than somebody and you're still asking, am I out? Am I still out? <laughs> All right, that's good, but I want to see it. All Let's right. See you go four through six. Mm. Oh, okay. oh. Good par nonetheless. On to a par. Okay. Brad's taking a little souvenir. On to a par five. Oh. <laughs> that's on <all> me. <laughs> Who are you? I really like this course. You know? yeah. yeah, that's good for you. Three down, four to play. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Just aim for the bunker and hope that you miss it right or left of it. Uh, you might be able to carry it, actually. You probably can. He could probably carry the bunker. Perfect. Yeah. Got faced. This a par five? Par five. Golf must be fun when you hit it like that. It must be really fun. Here I am, like, sitting at two over, kind of not playing very good but you know like whatever maybe a little worse than average cruising two three under we're gonna go out the bunker and my luck probably hit it up one. that's fine there Ugh. a little wipey cut it's not over don't look at my tippy toes i'm more level with you yeah it's not over i need to channel my inner brad dalky drad dalky drad balky yeah turn into drad balky no four holes left four birds if he beats, if you make four birds in the last four holes and he beats you, kudos to him. Because guess what? I did everything I could and I tried. Exactly. At the exactly. end of the day, I can, I can on that drive home, I can say, you know what, Garrett? You tried today. Exactly. My calves are starting to hurt a little bit because I'm on my tippy toes. That's all right. I'm doing it for you. Don't do that, please. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> What's been the most special tournament you've played in? U.S. Open? Probably. I've played in three U.S. Opens now, so, I mean, each one has been really cool. The first one when I was 17, that pebble made the cut. Damn. Um, I remember hearing about that. Yeah? Yeah, I remember hearing about that, 100%. That's crazy. I haven't made the cut since, but last year, in Boston, 15 minutes from where I grew up. So uh, that was really cool. And then LA, we had, I think, four Stanford players playing in it, like yeah. on the team. I was uh, out there watching, actually. I think I saw you hit a shot. I can't even remember what hole it was. Probably wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> Did you not play too well? No, I missed the cut, and no, that wasn't great. I really need to work on my game. These are the kind of moments that motivate me so much to get better. Because here's the deal. Keep blowing on my balls. I had one win at the beginning. It made me feel good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing with Michael Thorbe Jorgensen. He's tall, handsome, ripped, hits it a mile. It's kind of scary. I need to get into a headspace for these next matches coming up where I'm not worried about my opponent as much and more focused on myself. Because when I look at Michael, I get intimidated. 249 yards. You like a three wood? I do. It's, it's chilly out here. I think you might have to take a little bit off of it. Just a touch. Heads up, you might be in play. This is a must win hole, pretty much. Then hit it close, man. Oh, talk dirty. Talk so dirty, go in the hole. <laughs> yes, be the ball, see the ball, feel that's the ball. I'm freaking talking. Come on, well fire me up, holes. baby. Fire me up. Uh, that's the first need. five holes? The four, they're done. The first four holes are the only holes that matter in golf. The, five, the what? last four <laughs> holes. <laughs> Garrett stuffed it. 204 to the pin. We got six iron here. Just gonna try and get it up there somewhere close. Try and make birdie. Just hope he misses it. It's gonna be tough to get inside of him, but we'll see. I don't know what's in this hot chocolate, guys, but I really like it. Actually, I know exactly what's in this hot chocolate, and it feels amazing. All right. Thor's about 20 feet. I'm about 20 feet. It's just a putting contest now. I make this putt. We can do something. Here's the deal. 12 feet to 20 feet. I'm for eagle, he's for eagle. He misses, I make. We have ourselves something interesting on our hands. That's all I'm saying. You make, I miss, it's over. But listen, <laughs> I make, you miss. We have ourselves a map. Two down with three to go. Super interesting. This is, uh, <laughs> it's gonna need a lot. <laughs> I'm not counting myself. He's still breathing. What line do you like here? What line? Yeah. It's going right. 
All right. I wasn't too sure about that, actually. I would say like a, a ball out left. Ball out left? Is what I would All say. Right. Trust me or not. Oh. <laughs> oh, I rammed it. Oh, no. A little meat on that bone. Well, right edge putt. Nothing to it. You about to make this thing. At, at right edge or is that left edge? That is at right edge. Okay. It's kind of a match now. I gotta <laughs> focus up now. Come on. You just, need, you just need a little pep talk. You just need a little pep talk. Okay. Come on. That's all you needed. Come on. That's all you needed. That's all you needed. I got the momentum right now. Yep. That's all I'm saying. How often do you make a swing change? It's totally random. Like every day. Really? Yeah, okay. I feel like good players are always tinkering with something. They have something they're thinking about. Driver in hand. Par four, doggy right. Get right of it. Get right of it. Please, ball. Oh, wow. over it. That would be as right as you want to go, probably. That's perfect. I, I think with your distance, that's can't get better. Good ball. Got 121. Playing maybe like 124 or so. I got 56 degree here. I don't feel comfortable hitting a 50, like laying off too much of it. Coming from the rough. So we're just gonna smack a 56 there. Hold on. It's not bad. Okay. Birdie here, we're one down. A lot changes if we make birdie here. Aim a little right, play with the slope. Yeah. Didn't go left. That's fine. You want to miss on the right side of this hole, I think. Should kind of move a little left. Well, advantage me. Played the right slope. Missed on the right side. We're going to make a putt, and we're going to be one down with two to play. Just kind of dump it on the green. Knock it close. We're scared to make that. Maybe chip it in. Who knows? Killed it, Brad. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. That was a lot faster than I thought. That's not good. Okay, well, this makes things very interesting. <laughs> oh. That hurts. Oh. Damn. Is that it? That's it. Oh no. It. No. Hey. <laughs> Good that match, man. It. Wow. Oh. oh my gosh, that just makes me want to curl that up into a ball and cry. Me. Follow an eagle with a three putt. Hey, you did your job. That's all I, I'm gonna hey, say. You know, it happens. It happens. Damn, yeah, it dude. Happens. It was a stripe show that we watched out there from, from my. It was a very good performance. The best we've seen on the channel so far for the D1 series. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. Michael's socials will be linked in the top of the description. Uh, follow along on his Instagram, his golf career, and everything that's to come. Unfortunately, took the L there, and now that puts that puts the matches at one and three. That's a tough way to finish. That one's gonna sting for a while. A little three putt bogey to finish. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Till next time, peace. Hey, it was meant to be. <laughs> That's a little post after end screen. You can post that. <laughs>